What was the last couple days like for you? Were you like I've had to carry my phone charger pretty much everywhere. <laughs> getting a lot of calls. It's been pretty pretty hectic, but obviously to be in this position is pretty cool, and I've just made the most out of it, and it's been pretty fun. Did you Why not want to talk to anybody else? Was this just you were going to be Nick, and that was it? I've never been in this process, so I was just kind of open-minded and just took it one day at a time and just trusted my agents that they do most of the work, and they did, and we got a deal done, obviously, the first day. What does it mean for you to come back and be in this organization? This year was obviously a tough year on the win-loss, uh, win and losses, but I met a lot of great people in this franchise, a lot of great players, coaches, and we, we had a fun year together, I felt like, so I'm very comfortable in New York to go back. I can make some more memories, hopefully, and extend my career there. Your connection with, with Jeff, how important was that, you know, to, to feeling comfortable here? I think it was very important. Obviously, our stories are very similar. Uh, his career and my career hopefully can line up someday. Hopefully, I can play as long as he did, but he's someone I can look up to and obviously trust on the court. Pretty much everything he says, I relate to really well, and I, I like playing under him. What was your reaction to the, the Phil stuff uh, earlier this week or was it last week? <laughs> Obviously, I really enjoy Phil Jackson. He's taught me a lot this past year. Uh, he wasn't only a mentor of mine, but he was a really good friend. A couple weeks ago, we were playing catch in the training room before my first pitch. So I uh, wish Phil the best. going to miss him, and uh, that's just kind of how business goes sometimes. Do you, you want to reach out to him? him or? I have not, no. Have, do you wonder what the offense will look like next year? Training camp, or what do you hope? Uh, just to I've seen some some things that coaches little wrinkles they're putting into it here at summer league. Uh, it's it's looking pretty good. I think this group of guys is very talented and they're going to execute it fairly well. Uh, when training camp gets here, uh, I could probably answer that question more thoroughly uh, when the guys are all together. So there's some teams that were inquiring with your agent, and just nothing was. Uh, honestly, I. I just kind of stayed out of it and trusted my agents throughout the process. I honestly don't know any teams uh, that were contacting him. I just know the Knicks were very interested and we finalized the deal. How did leave Dahlia just to put this past you and concentrate on basketball? Uh, my workout today was very, very good. I made a lot of shots and I think I was a little springy in my step. It was a very exciting moment for me and I'm glad it's passed me, but it's something a, a player goes through, free agency, and it's it's a cool cool feeling to sign your next deal in this league. What was there a temptation at? to play, or it was impossible well, to play on this team after the signing, right to play on the summer I league? I think just how uh, my contract's going to work is it won't be finalized till after summer league, from what I've been hearing. So this honestly, this whole month of June, we kind of put the brakes on myself. Uh, June and July are kind of a you know, stabilizing months, don't want to overwork yourself, and that's kind of what I've been doing. So, uh, physically wise, I probably wasn't in the best shape to play summer league. How many? How many years? Uh, two-year deal. Two -year deal. Yeah. When, what, do you, what do you want to get better at, and what does the year experience in the NBA do for you? Uh, I think this year the thing I learned the most was you need a lot of endurance. Obviously, 82 games is no joke. You get you're lucky, you get in the playoffs like the Cavs and play 100 games. So it's important to be in really good shape. Things I need to improve on are obviously shooting the basketball. That's what I've been working on this whole summer and we're going to continue to work on. I feel like with the athletes and the players I play with, I can get a lot of open looks in this offense. And I just got to knock them down and then just keep being the aggressor and being a hustle player and play defense. And I think I can sustain a good career in this league.